Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is day three of five of ovulation testing to see if my body has begun to ovulate again after having my fifth baby and my first postpartum period returning five months postpartum. That was a mouthful. So I've been testing every day so far and I've gotten faint lines, which I have not gotten within the previous weeks. I've gotten stark white negative ovulation test on the first response ovulation brand. These are the assured ovulation predictors from Dollar Tree. They're only a dollar. I usually buy them off of Amazon for super cheap and I think they come in packs of like 25 and 50. It just depends what package you buy. So I just got a few to see, like I said, for this week if my body has begun to ovulate yet since I did begin my first postpartum period on April 23rd. But like I said, this is day three out of five that I'm going to be testing. Today is day 12 since I got my period, so cycle day 12. And I usually ovulate between cycle day 11 through 15. I always have in the past. So day 12, we're gonna see what this line looks like. So these tests are actually purple. They used to be white. So I'm not sure when they changed over, but I know the last time I used them, they were white. So I'm gonna put three drops in and wait and see what the results are. So you're not supposed to read the results after five minutes. So right now it's only been a few seconds. The dye is running across now. So on the left is the control line and on the right is the test line. And it tells you on the packaging if the test line is equal to or darker than the control line, then you are going to ovulate within the next 24 to 48 hours. And if the test line is lighter than the control line, they call it the band, not the line. I don't know why, but I've always called it the line. So like I said, um, what was I saying? Oh. If the test line is lighter than the control line, then you are not going to ovulate within 24 to 48 hours, or you may have already ovulated and missed your LH surge. So I haven't been testing too often. They tell you to test like twice a day, if not more, but I've only been testing once a day at random times of the day, so I may have even missed my LH surge. I don't remember where I put the test from yesterday, but I said I was gonna keep it and compare them, but I'm not sure. I don't want the kids to get a hold of them. I think I put it up somewhere. I'm gonna go look for it while I let this test sit four or five minutes, but right now it looks like no test line is even showing up. It looks lighter. So I put the flash on because the lighting is awful in this hotel bathroom, but I don't see too much of a test line showing up as of right now, but I'm gonna go look for the test yesterday See if I can find it real quick while I let this test sit for five minutes. So I will be right back in a few minutes. All right guys, so I am back. I found the test from yesterday. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So this is the test from yesterday, cycle day 11. And right here on the top is cycle day 12. So, still not a positive ovulation test. So like I said, in the past, I've ovulated anywhere from cycle day 11 to 15, and I just haven't ovulated yet. So we're gonna still be testing to see if I am going to ovulate this cycle or not, but I'm assuming since I did get my period that I will be ovulating, just not this early, probably around cycle day 15. And today, like I said, is cycle day 12. We'll still be testing to see if I get that positive test this cycle and we will go from there. So if you guys enjoy these tests, please give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that red button and subscribe if you're new and comment down below some other video ideas you would like to see me do. And I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.